I, I think the fact that uh, President Trump sent uh, Pompeo, Secretary designate Pompeo, uh, over to, to talk to Kim Jong-un, I think was actually a good idea. Uh, because the president, is, is, his style is different than anyone else's who's preceded him, and personal relationships really matter a lot to him. So uh, clearly he feels he can trust uh, Pompeo because that's the reason he selected him to replace Rex Tillerson. I believe that it is unprecedented that, uh, that Pompeo went down there, and certainly that we've gotten as far as we have, because none of the presidents from 1953 on forward, when the armistice was first signed, have ever gotten this far down the road. We've all said that we wanted peace in North Korea. We've all wanted denuclearization, uh, you know, since they had the first test in 2006. Uh, but neither President Bush nor President Obama ever got anywhere near where we are right now. Now, there's no guarantee that we're going to get there, that we're going to get all the way down there. But uh, I, I do think President Trump deserves some credit for having gotten us as far as we have. And let's, let's hope that that continues on so that we get an outcome that we can all live with. Anything that the president does to prevent war on the Korean Peninsula is in our favor. And that is our ultimate objective. It's to prevent war and to defend American interest and to continue to have the ability to prosper as a nation. Trump has a whole deck of face cards and aces. So we have all the, the heavy cards. And if he, if he doesn't play you know, by Trump's rules, Trump can walk away at any time and say, okay, if you don't wanna talk, then that's fine because I still have you, you know, in, my, in my hand.